just have to know that you know that you know this is for you this is the path and this is where you should be <laughs> October day 16 and 17. Today I'm doing it a little different. I got a slight mukbang going on. Let's get into it. I made some vegan tacos. Nothing to it, just some black beans, some peppers, onions, avocado, lettuce, and hot sauce. Cilantro as well. And let's dig in. That's good. Oh, that's good. I'm at my mom's house. The camera's not as close as it could be. It's just a lot going on. I didn't upload yesterday because I'm, I'm running a little dry. I'm also working on a project, so it's just a lot of work going on behind the scenes. That's good. But I wanted to do a mini check-in, the mid-vlogtober check-in. Um, so yeah, let's get it. I'm working on a project right now, and I'm really running dry with vlogtober ideas. It's just like, what to do? But I think I should be good. Um, we just got two weeks left. Gotta push through. I don't know how I can do it. I've been thinking about taking a break from social media just to really hone in and focus we get so caught up in social media and trying to make sure people are engaging with us make sure we're posting things that is entertaining and really is taking away from the quality of work that we're doing so as entrepreneurs as people who are trying to make a name for ourselves let's focus on some real work some real work that's something that's been on my mind a lot like I'm not really seeing the results I want to see out of social media and not being able to understand why. Um, so I'm taking a step back just to reevaluate some things. Do I actually care about being seen on the internet as far as Instagram is concerned, as far as Facebook and Twitter and all that? Not really. I'm trying to do the work. That's it. I want to reach the people and I know everybody's on social media, but there has to be another way. If you're an entrepreneur, let me know in the comments if this is something you're struggling with. If reaching your ideal or your target audience is something that's just like, ah. Because for me, it is. And it's funny, I put on my Instagram story like, what should I do for Vlogtober? And nobody really responded and it's just like, I get it. When you're on social media, most times you're just tapping through, not really being focused. My issue is when the same people over and over again are the first to watch your story but never engage like it's just so weird to me it's so weird i took the post down though because i had made like a a post after like i just love talking to myself don't you just love talking to yourself All right but i ended up taking it down just because I don't want things to be taken the wrong way and all my life I've literally been misunderstood. People take things I say the wrong way and I'm very blunt. I'm very straight to the point. I'm able to say what's on my mind. I'm able to speak up um, for what I think, what I believe in. And that rubs people the wrong way sometimes. Um, somebody suggested, oh, maybe you should try a different approach, but it's just like, no. Because you know when you're just being yourself. Why do I have to change myself to try to appease or accommodate people and nobody else is doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not doing that in your business. She's not doing that in her business. 
So why do I have to change myself? Because myself is a little bit more blunt or maybe a little bit more stern or straight to the point than you like. I'm not passive aggressive. Excuse me. I'm not passive aggressive. I go after what I want. I say what I want. And that's just that. It's on that. So as I was fixing my second taco, I figured I would just kind of like talk about my struggles with entrepreneurship so social media engagement is definitely like number one on my list going with my audience i don't know why it's so hard maybe because i don't do all of the other things like people suggest you should do like certain stuff is just too time consuming that's the thing certain things are too time consuming when you are everything in your business, you're literally, you do everything. You're in the beginning stages, so you have no choice, really. You're not trying to be on social media all day, commenting on people's posts and liking people's posts. That has definitely been a struggle. Finding my audience, knowing who my real people are, knowing what to make to appease to them. This, these algorithms are so screwed up. It's like, if you're not big, do you even have a chance? Like, do you even have a chance? So... It can be a little frustrating, and that's another reason why I didn't really feel like posting yesterday because it was a lot going on. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to. And then not really just having an audience, not really having people that are engaging, it's frustrating. I know I cannot be the only person that is dealing with this. Those would be my main two struggles in entrepreneurship. Honestly, everything else to me is not that hard. It's not, it's a breeze. Um, when I launch products, I get I make sales. When I launch anything, I sold hair in 2012. I sold jewelry, um, my dance classes. When I launch, I make sales. Or is it the amount of sales I want? No, because I'm not as consistent as I can be, but now I'm in a different place. So that consistency has been kind of brewing. So I'm preparing for my next launch which is coming really, really soon. I'm so excited. I just hope everything goes as planned. Um, but in entrepreneurship, that's those are probably my hardest things. And then also just like belief in yourself and confidence in yourself and knowing that, listen, I was put here for a reason and I'm gonna shine. I'm gonna do what I'm here to do. I'm gonna do what's been placed on my heart and I'm gonna do it well. It can be frustrating and it can be discouraging. There are no sale months there are no prospects it can be a lot you just have to know that you know that you know this is for you this is the path and this is where you should be it's very easy to get caught up in the hype i'm just gonna open a boutique because everybody's doing it i'm gonna sell lashes because everybody's doing it and don't get me wrong I'm pretty sure somebody watching this is to do those things you'll be very successful but also, what's your purpose? Like, tap in. Um, and that's something, too. Like, a struggle, I would say, entrepreneurship is trying to stand out in a world where it's like everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody. So it's like, how can you stand out? What do you do? How do you show yourself different? It can be a lot. It's not. I would say this journey is not for the weak hearted. Like, I'm definitely inspirational and encouraging people to, to build their own businesses and work for themselves. But you have to be really made for this. You have to be built. You have to know that I might be broke some weeks. My journey didn't say days. I said weeks. I might not know where my next paycheck is coming from. You know, it's just a different type of battle. It's like a different type of mentality you have to have to be on this entrepreneurship journey, y'all. It truly is. So, if I had to wrap this mukbang up, first of all, thank you for sitting through this little rant. <laughs> but if I had to wrap this mukbang up and say, what the struggles of entrepreneurship are, I would say, finding and reaching my ideal audience, growing my audience, and faith, having faith. So those three things. If you can relate, let me know in the comments. This video is kind of all over the place. Please bear with me. But if you're doing Vlogtober like me, just try to keep the faith, stay encouraged. 
If you're an entrepreneur like me, again, keep the faith, stay encouraged, don't be discouraged, keep going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. I will see you back here, same place, same time, tomorrow. Peace.